what's up everybody autopilot beats here and then uh in this tutorial i'm not really going to be doing a uh, tutorial on fl studio 10 uh, i'm actually uh, migrating into the uh, video production scene of things for music videos and all that good stuff <clears throat> the program i'm using is called uh sony vegas pro 10 i mean not 10 sony vegas pro 11 i mean excuse me <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> and uh in this tutorial i'm gonna show you how to uh <laughs> how to uh, take your HD, cut it down, take your HD footage, 720 or higher, and cut it down to a small MPEG so that you use, so that you use less CPU um, for the computers that are less fortunate while you're in edit view. Uh, my computer, um, when I'm editing video, HD video, 720 or higher, uh, it lags really, really bad, and it's hard for me to, to gauge if the effect it, in the preview window is even working or sh displaying correctly so this is how I get around to it uh, get around to uh, tricking um, Sony Vegas Pro 11 to uh, do what I needed to do so what we do we create a folder I already have it right here it's called test we create two additional folders it don't have to be test it could be the name of the project and we uh, create two additional folders within that project in this case test folder we have HD standing for the original 720 footage or higher and the, the, the SD for, for standard definition <clears throat> did I say I meant to say high definition for 720 or higher if I didn't say that anyhow we were gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to take our HD version which d this would be it right here and we're gonna uh, convert this down to an MPEG and the program I use to convert down is called AVS Video Converter it's out there on the net look for it it is there and uh, what you do is you, in the AVS Video Converter we have two MPEG we wanna make sure that tab is highlighted we drop that HD video into here and we, it's going to turn, it's going to go from that HD version and turn it down to an MPEG where it's it's going to make the, the, the file smaller so that it's less CPU being used for the preview for the preview uh, window and you could see all your transitions and effects actually stream way smoother and uh, that's kind of the point of uh, doing this but uh there's more to it than that, so let's get right to it. Now, the folder we want it to go into, go ahead, see right here's the output folder, but we want to browse to the, the correct out output folder. Okay, we're going to desktop, test, standard definition, and you can call the, you can rename this SD version or whatever your project is. SD in the name of your project, whatever you want to name it save and what you would do is uh, convert now with an AVS video converter convert now and just wait <coughs> okay now we got that converted down. If we go back in that folder, in the SD folder, you'll see it says SD version. And uh, even when you click on it, you can see right here at the bottom of the Windows 7 window, it, sh it says movie clip. It's down to 74.6 megs. And uh, if you go to the SD version, or HD version, and you click on it, it's 116 megs. So it's it's a smaller, the smaller, uh, yeah, it's a smaller size video uh, makes it easier for you to see everything better. All the effects you apply in the preview window for, like I said already, uh, for you know, those of y'all that have a computer and are not fortunate enough to have it to be an i3, i5, whatever the case is, like the newer, faster ones that are made for video editing with the badass uh, um, graphics cards and all that. Okay, so now that we got the uh, standard definition version down, what we're going to do is we're going to... I'm not even really going to do a bunch. I'm not even going to do any effects really. I might do one transition. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, 
All right, so now we got the uh, project open. What you do is you drop the SD version into there. All right, let's make the screen bigger. And uh, I'm just gonna let me turn this volume down. I don't want it to interfere. I'm just gonna go ahead and do like a slice here and move it over one. Move it over a little bit. bit of a slight transition whatever thing going on yeah, let's see, right there. Let look, at the, let look at the playback transition is a little weird see normally uh, when you have an HD and your computer isn't powerful enough uh, it would fill this entire uh, this entire preview window and that that uh that transition right there would lag so bad. So this is the way around it. So we are, we have our standard definition MPEG in here, and basically you can apply any effects you want all over the place. You know, you know, you just kind of experiment around with the effects. Like I said, I'm very new at this, uh, so I don't know all kinds of effects yet. Well, I will have more tutorials to come uh, on that, and uh, mainly uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to simplify what other tutorials uh, made. I uh, you know made to be a headache something that it need to be or dragged out to be okay so what we do is uh, we have that effect but we don't want to render it down from this MPEG so we have our little you know deal going on right there and uh, what you would do is you would save as and uh, you would go to desktop go to test for our test folder and this is a standard definition version so we're just going to name this SD whatever and plus or whatever your project is and uh, here's where the neat trick comes in okay so you X out of that and we're in our test SD folder now to get it to where it, it replaces back to HD here's the trick you just take out where it's in the folder the S the standard definition version of the video remove it temporarily you're temporarily move, uh, removing it then you reopen the SD version And it's going to prompt you specify a new location or place file you go you click on that <laughs> okay you go to desktop you go to where your HD version is so we go to test on our test folder oh, it's at the top one second I know it's in here there it is test folder go to HD you replace it with your high definition so now it's going to be it's going to have the full screen it's going to be in the full screen but this is the version we don't ever want to edit in so we just basically reload it in like this then you go to file again save as desktop test folder HD and in the HD folder, you name it HD, whatever uh, HD, and whatever the name of your project is. So we're just going to name it HD. And we're not editing with this project. We're just replacing it with the HD version so that it comes out processed in HD as opposed to the MPEG. The MPEG version was only for smooth uh, editing in real time, transitions, all that stuff. That way, nothing's lagging. Everything looks decent in the way you want it. And then you would simply go ahead and render down that f this particular file. You would render it as, you know, I normally do. I don't do it in this. Uh, I think it was uh, WMV is what I originally WMA. No WMV. That's what it was. And I think it was the six meg. Yeah, I I, I normally render in this right here. V Windows Media Video six megabytes per second HD 720 30p video and uh, that that comes out really nice HD but I'm not gonna click render because I got Camtasia Studio 7 uh, running and it's probably gonna being that my computer's less fortunate probably gonna kill it <laughs> anyhow that's how you would do it um, 
Autopilot B saying comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.